Hello everyone, I'm ExtraCheese87 and this is a Let's Play of Trails of Cold Steel 3 Part 35. In the previous video, we uh, basically started our free day, technically. We, we, then we went back in time because I forgot to uh, talk to the uh, to the chapel. We won't really talk to the chapel, but we forgot to do the talking in the chapel. So we turned back the clock and let's do this before we uh, go back to our free day adventures. Hello, Reen, doing your nightly rounds? I feel safe already. Uh, you flatter me, I'm just keeping an eye out on my way to dinner, that's all. You seem like you're pretty busy though, will you be heading to bed soon? Not for a while, I have to organize the scriptures and then I'll work on deciphering those books. Father doesn't know my true identity, so I'll be doing that part in secret. Anyway, rest well tonight, Reen. Take care now. He is always up with the crack of dawn doing her choices too, does she ever sleep? I am confirming this month's event schedule with Sister Rosine. The students have acclimated well, but some still have their issues. We'll give them as much support as we can. Hello. Goddess, please glad me with your light of salvation. Tatiana, what's she doing here so late? Tatiana? <laughs> sorry, I didn't mean to startle you. I'm so so sorry for losing my cool. It's okay to pray, but why are you doing it at so late? Is something wrong? Um, well, I lost the latest issue of... You lost a book? It's more like I think someone took it by mistake. There was another book in its stead. Ah, I see. Well, see ya. <laughs> Say, Sassy you want me to help you look for the owner? Uh, are, are you sure? I'd really appreciate it. I can't not help one of my students in need. But come to think of it, how do you mistake one book for another? Well, I mean... Books can look pretty similar, Reen. If you ever looked at one, you'd know. What happened exactly? When you look at the book, I think you'll understand. The cover of the book says Carnegie Books and Games. I see, so the store put that cover on the book. And they put the same cover on your book, huh? Yes, exactly. In the evening, I went to reset. I think the mistake happened while I was cleaning up my table. And I noticed that in there would have been fine, but... I only noticed after I got back to the dorms. Have you gone back yet? Uh, yes. I asked the owner if there were any books in Lost and Found, but... That probably means the person who took your book hasn't noticed yet. Was that the only person you asked? Well, I'm really shy and it's hard for me to talk to people. The owner was a woman, so that made it a little easier. But I have a hard time talking to strangers. I feel that. I see. Well, I guess I have a better understanding of the situation. Tatiana, may I take that book from you? Yes. Alright, free book. See ya. <laughs> the title of the book is Take Me to the Field. The first course of action is to go to reset and talk to the owner. Tatiana, can you wait here? Uh, okay. Book BL under. I'm so sorry for bothering you with this instructor, Reen, and thank you so much for helping you out. Yeah. 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 Welcome, will you be eating here today? I want to ask you something. Reen explained. You know who this book may belong to? I see. In that case, I'm guessing it's Mr. Kane, the farmer. He was resting here after he delivered some vegetables. He was telling me about an interesting book he just bought. It's a romance novel, perfect for a farmer like me. The title of the book was Take Me to the Field. I guess there's no doubt. This time of day, he's usually drinking at the tavern. Sorry for the trouble, but if you could take it to him, I'd really appreciate it. Sure, no problem. Did you say her name is Tatiana? I'm doing my best to make the tunes of Thoris feel at home, but apparently I haven't been doing a good job. It's more of her own personal issue, but I'll let her know that you said that. Th thank you. I should head to the tavern and look for Mr. Kane. I guess I'll have to hold off on dinner for a while. You know, Reen, in an alternate reality, you've already eaten dinner. Is that is that shock you? Does that surprise you, Reeny boy? In an alternate reality, you also uh, saw your good friend and pal Machias and then laughed in his face for two minutes straight. <laughs> uh, it's just, I don't know why. It's, it's like, it's even funnier because the, like, it's getting me more because it's not funny, which makes it funnier that I find it funny. And it's just Machias' face. 
Oh, you need something from me? Yeah, I was wondering if you knew anything about this book. This is... Take me to the field? I bought this yesterday. That must mean... Kane took a closer look at the book he had taken earlier. Spring Breeze Love Song? What's this? I don't care about no love song. A romance novel with barely any female characters. Barely? I never confirmed with Tatiana, but this is her book, right? Uh, so can I explain the situation? Being explained. The young man met with Tatiana to apologize and turn her book to her. I'm sorry about the mix-up. Uh, no, it's... Would you accept my vegetables as a form of apology? <laughs> May I offer you a carrot in these trying times? I'm sorry to you too, instructor. Here, take a potato. <laughs> uh, thank you. I just got the giggles, man. Machias has just destroyed my brain. Uh, thank you. Granted, I'm pretty sure the idea of him being like, here, take a potato, would get me laughing regardless of my mental state. Th thank goodness he turned out to be nice. My father always told me to never trust strangers. He always said that men are beasts and demons. Uh, that sounds a little extreme. Usually, the, when men say that, that's because they're projecting. You know? You didn't take him seriously, did you? I do find that I'm taking him with a grain of salt, but until I came to the school, I've lived a rather sheltered life. You yeah, were raised in a noble house. Yeah, but it's only a small house in the Croizen countryside. You could probably say the same for me. Surprise your father sent you here by yourself. Oh, uh, well, it was really hard to convince him at first, but when I told him that I wanted to see the world, he accepted it. And see, your dad seems very nice. I'm grateful for all that he's done for me. There's also why I believe that I need to change. I see. I'm happy to see you're really taking everything into consideration. Let me just say that you need to relax a little and take it slowly. Dr. Reed? Thank you so much! Uh, you're welcome. That book you bought, uh, Spring Breeze Love Song? Let's not pry into the details, Reen. It's a romance novel, right? Yeah. It's a second book by up-and-coming writer, Miss Dorothy. <laughs> That's a cool connection. D -d -d -dor -dor Dorothy? I is something wrong? No, it's nothing. Uh, she was part of the literature club with Emma. She debuted as a novelist, but I didn't think I'd hear her name here. I heard her first book was rather unique as well. Should be happy that she's doing well. Oh, Adios, thank you so much. Thanks to you, Miss Dorothy's wonderful world is mine to lose myself in. It's only a page away. Well, I mean, to be fair, I think it's due to Reen. I think, I think Reen played a pretty big role in getting your boy love novel. He might have awakened something in old Farmer Kane, though, if he'd got to keep the book. Could have converted him. Now I gotta remember. Were there any notebook entries that we, uh... Like, we had already talked to Monk by this point, right? No, 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 we had not. Uh, the Mint... I'm trying to remember, who else did we get entries for? We did fishing, and we went in there. I think we had already gone to the mayor's house. I don't think there was one there, though. So I think we can just go eat. I think it was just that we needed to make sure we talked to Monk to get his character entry. Granted, I don't really care about getting 100% notebook completion, but... Figured if I remember, we may as well go back and do it. I mean, I don't know why you need to eat dinner, Reen. You already got raw potatoes. <laughs> so
A man actually walks around looking like that. Like two requests from town, because we've already seen that. Alright. And oh yeah, there was this thing about sending mail. I don't want to talk to Milliam. Big, big, big news. Rain Bean, how's it going? I'm at the Capitol for some intelligence division work. Oh, hey, so something totally surprised me just now. Man, who would have thought Claire? Uh, you want to know, huh, don't you? Well, I'll tell you next time we see each other. Milliam seems to be doing well, but what an interesting message. I wonder what happened to the Major. Yeah, I really got to know. Maybe I should go see her. The Capitol isn't far by train. Oh. Okay, so that's how they do bonding events for old characters. That's kind of interesting. Um, we will wait and do all the bonding events, like, together. Ah, oh, black coffee's so bitter. I need to work hard. If I can learn to tolerate that, I'll prove I'm a true Erebonian man. As someone who drinks black coffee, there's nothing manly about it. That's quite an interesting way of seeing things. Like, I don't know. The club activities are truly in full swing. I can't believe the modern music and tea ceremony clubs have meetings today. It's truly a wonderful sight to see students working hard to expand their horizons. It's like, yeah, it's so man that I'm just gonna drink something that tastes like fucking ass. Because I'm addicted to it. Dude, this is tough. I know, right? I'm impressed, Jessica. There were many people who couldn't keep up with this, even in the fleet. <laughs> Thank you. I'm impressed with both of them. The two, two are really motivated. Jessica's really passionate. Well, I guess I'll just have to go along with her. Lenora, once you're ready, let's do another set of reps. What if we have, like, a little shower? All our training that we've done? I mean, you just woke up. Seems like all the club activities are in full swing. Unis in tennis club, Kurt's in chess club, Altina's in swimming club. Ah, uh, youth. I hope they enjoy it while they can. Reen, you're two years older than these people. Oh, and oh god. Oh god. Instructor, I'm sure you're still young enough to enjoy your own youth. I can't even censor. You're music from class nine, right? Wow, you can tell simply by hearing my voice? Anyone gonna tell her that? Line a voice. You're amazing, Instructor Reen. Is this perhaps the power of love? Let's uh, call it teacher's intuition instead. But did you only come in here because you saw me go in? Oh, you've caught me. There's no one else around. Would you like me to come over and wash your back? I've got it handled, thanks. Your own town, Ordis, has bathhouses too. Indeed, that they're nowhere near as nice as the renowned Phoenix Wings in your hometown, Ymir. But they do have certain villas by the sea that feature outdoor baths with a lovely ocean view. Oh man, that does sound nice. I'm guessing the seafood there is great too. I'd love to take a vacation there someday. Well, when you do, please allow me to give you the full tour. I'll do my very best to ensure your stay is a pleasurable one, both mentally and physically. Yeah, okay, whatever. Wait, how do you know that from Ymir? Did I ever tell you that? Well, everyone knows the Schwarzer Barony is based in Ymir. Does everyone know that? Especially after last year, I'd say it's harder to find someone who doesn't know that. I mean, that is fair. They would definitely be a lot more famous now. Maybe, but something still doesn't add up. I mean, Ymir is famous with their hot springs, but... Not everyone knows the resort's name is the Phoenix Wings. Oh, you've called me again, but as for why I know that, that's an S-E-C-R-E-T. Yeah, okay, whatever. Is it really a secret that you're, like, fucking evil? Or maybe not necessarily evil, but... Bath is nice, but somehow I feel even more tired now than I did going in. That girl is definitely hiding something. Now every girl has her secrets. Oh? The reason I actually came to the bath was to clean myself up before putting this on. Whenever you have time, please come visit the Tea Ceremony Club.
King Shang. Alright, Tush is gonna be trouble. Oh, thankfully Muse got CP. Real, real glad she got some CP for all the combat she's gonna be doing. I mean, I don't know. I assume, like, I wonder if Ash is gonna. I mean, I'm guessing Ash is first, and then Muse, because I feel like they've set Ash up more as joining, uh, joining us at this point. But I feel like I wonder if we're gonna have a helper character for the key. I could see it being Ash as like a prelude to him joining class seven. I mean, it could also be Muse joins first and then Ash is later. Or it could be Randy, um, since they kind of hinted at the human he was in the keep earlier and got his weapon. I assume it was some, some weapon maintenance is what he got from uh, Schmidt. Every time I see these students attending their clubs, I can't help if you're reminded of Master Patrick. I do so hope everyone finds the experiences of enriching as he did. Well, Master Reen, if you ever require anything of me, day or night, please do not hesitate to ask. Please, anybody upstairs? Recheck. Fancy P up here? Nope. So who are our bond events? Unum, Ash, and Altina, plus Laura and Million. All right, all right, all right, all right. We'll wait and do those later. Can I talk to you without talking to Yuna? Here, there, it'll be okay. You know what happened? Oh, it's you, instructor. What? Well, see, she got into a fight with her brother. Tom, Tom broke my mishy. All right. Well, Tom's dead. Stuffed animal's neck is ripped and cotton is spilling out. Ah. He got caught when he was going out to play and he ripped it. It was a present for my daddy, stupid Tom. I'll murder him. There, there, don't cry. Hey, so I'm pretty used to this kind of thing, so I'll be fine on my own. You said that, but isn't there anything I can do to help? Yeah, I mean, didn't say Yuna had like 18 uh, brothers and sisters? Or like, you know, three or four? Okay, let's, let's find a starting point. We'll start here, we'll go clockwise. Randy! Ah, oh, just what I was looking for. Thanks for all the help. Certainly, I'm glad I could find out what you needed. Picking up some books, are they for class? Oh, hey there, Rain. Yeah, I figured I'd mix in a little pleasure with my business. Oh, God. Oh, no. In Randy's hand was a magazine prominently displaying a bikini-clad woman on the cover. Wait a second, is that... Hot Shot, a swimsuit magazine published in Crossbell. Is that really something you should be ordering alongside school materials? Ah, it's just killing two birds with one stone as far as I'm concerned. They really like that phrase. If you're interested, I can loan it to you sometime. I'm good, thanks. I'm just happy I was able to get my hands on a copy of Hot Shot in the Empire. What's up, Miss Rachel? It's always the pretty ones that are good at their jobs. Uh, thank you? Mr. Randy's one of our regulars here. Let me know if you want me to make any special orders for you. I can get anything from board games to card games to puzzle games. Hello. I've heard that you'll be on another field exercise this weekend. May I ask how you're feeling? Oh yeah, that's right. She does know about my powers. I'm doing fine, thank you. I haven't used it since last month. I see, I'm glad to hear that. Father Thomas told me that power of yours is something to be wary of. So please don't tempt fate by pushing yourself to a point you can't come back from. Alright, that's not ominous. By the way, Reen, I finished deciphering the black records that you gave me. Oh, thanks. Thank you, this is a big help. I'm glad you didn't give that to me, like, immediately. I and mean, we've already read that one, but... Which one is that one? I know how to look. That's one about the dang old dark dragon. Basically, dragon bad, dude get big robot, fight big dragon, kill dragon, but dragon curse robot, make robot mad. 
Robot sealed away. Robot come back to life. Rain punch in face. The end. The children of leaves are so energetic. Actually, our man has asthma, but thanks to his medicine, he's been able to run around without any problems. Let's pray to the goddess their smiles never fade. Sales for this month have been pretty good. When I crossed paths with Rachel, she told me not to get cocky. She's always seen me as a rival. Honestly, I'm not really into the whole competing thing. As long as the customers are happy, that's what matters. A likely story. Who's over here? Serby? Not Serby. I'm playing hide and seek with Zack and Tom, but they aren't here either. Where'd you two hide? Uh, I won't give up. Well, at least you boys. Definitely gotta find them. Anything else after that? I won't lose at hide and seek. I'm definitely gonna find them. Delinquents? Oh no. Rip to you guys. Have fun. Have you seen that new mystery man who showed up in Leaves? He goes around cleaning and helping people with their bags. Not to mention he's a real hottie of a butler. What do we ever do to deserve him? Well, it's sure has gotten popular around here. You're handsome too, instructor, but don't worry, I have two hands after all. What do we ever do to deserve him? What? I didn't really have any business in Leaves today. I just came because I was bored. We like the atmosphere of this tavern. Perfect for reading books. Really relaxed in here. It's perfect for eating. Drinks and snacks are good too. I heard that you'll be consulting everyone in town. And inconvenience you to Betty too. Wow, the Ashen Trevalier himself. Would anyone be more helpful? <laughs> I've never felt safer in leaves. You can easily overestimate what I bring to the table. I guess that's part of the job, but I'll just try my best. What type of food do you got? Onion rings. Oh, it was like an appetizer or like a, a side? Do you have anything else besides onion rings? We got uh, special onion rings. Oh, okay. I mean, so onion rings are good. Now, if you get enough of them, that's all you need. I'm gonna give this lady whiplash. <laughs> Shaking her head like that. I make sure to talk to Catalia um cattle cat cat Catlia all my days off. I usually don't get to spend much time with her. But nothing makes me happier than seeing smiles on my family's faces. You may be wondering why can I not pronounce the name of my wife? Uh shut up. Uh, Armin is growing up. I want to go somewhere tonight. Is that alright? Oh, to Morgana's house? Sure, I'll take Armin with me when I go shopping. Having a reliable husband is so helpful. Where'd I put my crayons? Daddy's gonna play with me today. We're gonna draw. Okay, hit up the radio tristers. Screenplay for my drama didn't get much of a reception. Must not be realistic enough. I need a better director. Lindley, I'm gonna go out and do some interviews. Sure, whatever floats your boat. Need some more blood and gore. My drama haven't seen much fanfare yet. I feel so powerless as a director. No, there's still so much more I can improve. And it makes it incredible to prove that director Michael's faith in me wasn't misplaced. Why do they have to make me do everything? This is so annoying. What is this? B battle. Uh, see, it really does seem like an interesting game. I'm glad you think so too. I think the Nadials are really cute. Are you talking about Bandage Masters? <laughs> uh, your cards are already mine, Louise. Yes, that's right. At least just tell me about it. You play it, right, Instructorine? If you like, have a match sometime. Yeah, sounds good. 
Well, whenever you're ready, I'm ready now. All right. And what did we get from our last thing that we won? Oh, you got this. No, no, no. We had that. We got wall. If the target is earth, it gains two HP as well. So that's just blaze, but earth based. I mean, it seems okay. I don't know. I feel like we really prioritize offense more in like actually winning fast. And we don't really have any good earth guards, so. <laughs> Let's play. You fool. Well, I mean the magic crystals have a benefit. But what, what, we've already got one. They're all oh, we're set up. We are set up. Next turn is your doom. We can actually play you early too. Oh no. You poor, poor child. Um, um, AI might need a little bit of work. <laughs> Joke's on you, I'll just kill myself. We probably should have actually some, actually we win next turn. Well, maybe not. Because if you heal yourself, then you don't die, but... I mean, you better get that magic crystal. Okay, you, you've given yourself one extra turn. Don't, don't do it, don't do it. Uh, uh, yeah, probably someone hasn't learned about type advantages yet, I guess. And you can't use your skill. I mean, you got die next turn regardless, so it doesn't really matter. You may as well just get, keep control, just in case. Okay, you're, you're dusted. That thing's new, what does it do? Deal one damage to a row of enemies. Plus one attack for each enemy this card defeats. That's kind of neat. I, I just want to hit you. Ooh, you did good. I mean, you did sacrifice two of your cards for like no reason whatsoever. Ice coffee, egg sandwiches? This place is so awesome! I work in the insurance firm in the capital and my quotas are so high. I'm gonna be able to heal my weary spirit. A weary spirit? I think I said weary. Special pancakes! I mean, they don't seem like very good, but, um... I should make some sweet bread. What better way to grasp the hearts of the students? Then again, it's not like using rum. My sweetbreads end up a little more on the mature side. Like a sweet stolen... Sorry, it's nothing. I'm not sure if it's someone who liked that kind of bread. Hmm. Hmm. I think that's about enough about advantage matches for now. I heard you got your book back yesterday. What was it about, anyway? Uh, well... The overflowing emotions of boys in the springtime of their youth? An overflowing spring of emotional boys? I don't really get it, but it sounds interesting. I'm talking about Dorothy's debut novel. Actually, it's her second novel. Uh, you should remember that, Reen. I learned it from you. It's gotten really popular, huh? I see, so Luis is interested in this sort of thing, too. Here's my chance. I have to make a good impression. I, mean, I don't know if she's interested. I think she didn't understand what you were saying. And she's just doing the rampage of youth and explosion of innocence. I don't really get it, but it seems interesting. I mean, you know. I ain't got nothing against it.
Oh, I see fish in the water. Freddy's like, I'm tired of losing this damn mini game. I'm breaking out the fucking trident. <laughs> let's see, let's see, which one? My hands are itching with the anticipation, the thrill of the hunt. Don't tell me he's planning on spearfishing. What a wild child. Gonna have myself a nice batch of leaves, seafood tonight, or river food. <laughs> I can't wait. Alright, uh, see you later, Freddy. Uh, uh, don't go murdering again. At least not when we are around. So we should... We can do one of the quests here. I do need to pause for a second. I'll be right back, though. All right, we are back. Hello, lady. How strange. I can't find it anywhere. Excuse me, you're the one who put in a request? I'm from Thor's branch campus. I mean, you could have just said Thor's. Like, I'm pretty sure they can assume that you're from the branch campus. You know? Considering it's right there. Oh, hello, instructor. I didn't see I lost an important gift yesterday. So kudos to me. Could I help you to ask, look for me? For me? I know the English language. I, I promise. Um, he's the type that doesn't really listen to us when she gets going. Anyway, if you take on this quest, you will not be able to trigger other events for a certain period of time. Okay. Yeah, certainly. I hope you look for it. Oh, I'm so glad to see you feel better having a younger pair of eyes around. Now let's start the search. The gift is a, in a box about the size of your palm. It has a ribbon on top. Why? Because it's a gift. It's got a pretty ribbon for a nice gift. I can't tell you what's inside. I just bought it at the boutique yesterday. Hey, excuse me a moment. Does that mean you lost it on the same day you bought it? And where did you go yesterday? Maybe we can retrace your steps. Doctor, you get to be my age, you start to feel like it doesn't really matter where things happen. So in other words, you don't remember at all. This might be pretty tough. How can we narrow it in location? Oh yeah, that kid had a puppy with her. Then we can have it track the scent. Such a forward barrow. Have you thought of something? Yeah, I got an idea. Please wait here a moment. Oh yeah, I forgot to get a nine volley. Please wait here a moment. I'll go bring someone who should be able to help. Sir B, Sir B. Rian explained the situation to Jingo and negotiated to borrow the puppy. Hmm, I see. Some of me, I always wanted to teach him that track and stuff. Put on the pay, I'll let you borrow him. Okay, thanks. What do you mean pay? Hey, Cerberus, you better take this training seriously. Turn you're up against a huge beast. How do you think it's gonna bite your like you're gonna bite its legs off? A wolf? I'm not too sure about this plane anymore, but I guess I'll give it a shot. Oh, is this like when we're using the metal detector? Alright, let's get started. You lost the gift sometime after you bought it at the boutique, right? Oh yes, definitely. I had this little special something that it had Marcus made. But wait, I can't go telling you that. That's a secret. Well, uh, either way, let's follow this in. Okay, Cerberus, do you have this lady's scent memorized? Wolf, wolf, I'm a dog. What the hell does scent mean? It seems like someone's raring to go. You got this, Cerberus. Let's start tracking. We'll follow this lady's scent and find out where she was yesterday. There's a chance you dropped the gift along the way, so we'll have to keep our eyes peeled. Now, good luck in your search, both of you. Cerberus is company you. You investigate the street corner, Cerberus will let you know if he's picked up the scent. Search the street with Cerberus to follow the trail. Look at him. Oh, he's a little, he's a little puppy dog. I guess he's trying to tell me there's no scent here. It's not this way, then. Right this way. Woof, woof. Seems like he's found a scent. No, no woof, woofs. It's really, it's not. Oh, there it goes. I was gonna say, I mean, like, the place is marked, so. Did she stop here? There's a chance she dropped the gift somewhere in the store. Let's check inside. Oh, yeah. Wait, did I go in the fishing place? I can't remember. Yeah, I think I got sidetracked and didn't do my full clockwise. Oh, Shrek, there's something wrong. Uh, yeah, I can't catch any fucking fish, dude. This rod you gave me is broken. I mean, uh, I'm looking for something. Miss, uh, Mrs. Chami dropped something yesterday. Did you happen to notice anything? 
Oh, Mr. Shami? Being real jolly yesterday. She was talking more than usual, but uh, I didn't notice anything. I see. I probably mean she dropped on her way back from here. Cerberus, he's saying that he can follow the scent. All right, let's get going. Looks like you got a little partner on your hands. I know Mrs. Chong for 50 years now. I appreciate you helping her out. Of course, leave it to me. Nice to meet you. <laughs> the Murray is enormous. I've seen many things over the course of my travels. Foreign cities, beautiful sights, enormous mountain ranges. The Eastern culture really caught my interest. I spent a lot of time traveling around the Eastern countries. Uh, could you name some of them? Oh, uh, well, uh, see, they haven't really, like, come up with names over there in the East yet. They're just kind of like, it's just the East. Uh, you'll understand when you're older, Reen. That explains the selection you have here. I figured you were well-versed. Sounds like you're well-versed in Eastern culture as well. That sword, do you practice the eight, eight leaves, one blade style? <laughs> I heard Master Yoon Kaifa's name many times during my travels. I see. What a strange coincidence. Oh, look at him. Look a little, look a little baby ring. Master Kai-Fi, hope he's doing well. Wolf Wolf? All right, we got a scent, which means she went this way? Freeway Junction. I mean, look like we go. Looks like we go straight. Uh, hello, Altina. Woof woof. There is a sense on the railing, huh? If she stopped by here, then. I mean, it is a, it is a nice change of pace from say the uh, metal detector quest, and that was an Azur, right? Or maybe it was zero. And then, you know, Sky One had it as well. The horrible hell that was the metal detector quest. Search every damn, co like, inch of the entire city and you still would miss some. It's like a small box. Let's see what happens. You must have dropped it while enjoying the scenery from here. Oh, dear. That's most certainly the present I bought. Thank you so much for finding it, Instructor. It was tougher than I expected, but I'm glad we're able Was it tougher? Uh, but I'm glad we're able to help all the same. You deserve a thanks too, puppy. You're quite the talented little doggy now, aren't you? Woof. This gift. It's actually for Frankie. You may have seen him. He's always so down on himself. But he helped me when I tripped the other day. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I remember that. He really is such a sweet young man. Here, sure this gift will lift his spirits. I see. I hope so, too. I think I'll give it to him right away. Oh, yes, and... Ooh, we don't have one of those yet. Meat on the bone! Huh? I went and got these as a thank you while I was waiting. Don't be shy. Go on, take them. We'll see you later, dearies. Thank you so much for your help. She ran out before I can even thank her. <laughs> She's pretty spry for age. That was pretty tough. We made it thanks to your nose. Good job, service. Thanks for the help. After that, Reen took Cerberus home and explained the situation to Jingo. Woof woof. Yeah, I'll see you again soon. Seems like that training went pretty well, eh? Nice work, Serby. You deserve some of them. This meat and bone. Bone in meat. Go for it. He really is well trained. It's admirable, honestly. Wanna buy something? I don't really want to, but I probably Come on, should. Buy some more. I got some good stuff. How much do the bells cost? They're actually pretty cheap, you material wise. Forte and Impassion. Bluster seems pretty strong. I mean, it's 40 strength. That alone is, like, pretty good. 
and then scent aerial dust we don't have that yet i'm guessing that's just aerial which historically aerial has always been a very good spell partially yeah, because it's more. like one of the first like big aoe's you get and it's usually been untargeted which is better than the targeted ones Yeah, I'm hoping the next tier of spells will maybe uh, make arts feel... Because, I mean, I've always gravitated more towards the magic stuff than physical. Um, so, magic being kind of good would be good for me. A gift? That's too much, Granny. Besides, I'm not the kind of guy who deserves gifts. Oh, what are you saying? This is a perfect gift for you. It's a clip on top of your job hunt. Do your best at your next interview, too. Uh, so, that's what it was for. I'm sick of working, but I'm sure Granny's coming from a good place here. I just can't say no. I mean, I get you. No one should like working. I gave it to Frankie right away. He looks speechless. He must have been so happy. And like, even if you like have a good job and you're like, oh, I love my job. You just need a better hobby. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's my opinion on the matter. Um, I mean, it's good to have a job that you like, but you should have a hobby you like more. Hot take. That's my hot take of the day. We haven't gone to the tavern. But what happened? I guess I got, I don't know how I got like thrown off. Because they went to the boutique. And then somehow I ended up in Radio Trista. Because we didn't do the tavern. We didn't do uh, Rod's play. Oh, no, we did do the tavern. Oh, I probably just took the back exit from the tavern and forgot to go to Nine Volley and rods as a result. I don't care so many people in the course of my travels the fishing bear. Oh wait, I thought you were just gonna, I thought it was the same dialogue. I think you're well versed in Eastern culture too. During our current political situation, I have to get everything from the Republic sent to me from the kingdom of Libero. Makes them a little pricey, but hopefully I only have to bear with it for a short while. Oh wait, can I, what, you said something about the fishing guild? I thought you were just saying the same thing you were saying earlier. You know, so many people in the course of my travels, the Fishing Baron and the Fisherman's Guild is one of them. I've made so many friends. I'd like to introduce you to them too someday. Uh... I mean, do we have any of this stuff already? I feel like we bought some of it, right? Like the cheap thing? Didn't we, don't we already have that? Or didn't we get something from like a... I feel like we got something from a quest. Yeah. We got double hook and amino gel. Okay, so we could definitely get this. It's super cheap. There. Maybe now we can actually catch fish. We did the bakery. We did the private home. Good rod. Good Carnegie. I mean, I don't even know why I'm gonna check because Reen's gonna be like, ah, I can't go to the station. I hate trains. You know, actually, we'll probably save this quest for the next video. Let's go do the branch campus for a little bit. A message from Mint. Hands of Soda Enhancement. You know those orbs Clara started making for Valmar during the Civil War? I was taking a tour through some workshops and happened to meet up with her. She taught me how to make EX orbs. If you got time, could you swing by the hangar's front desk and see me? I got something else I want to talk to you about, too. EX orbs are Valmar. It's great news. I wonder what else she has to say. Well, I got time. I should pay her a visit. Yeah, I could do that. I could also not. Tita made some time to help me with gardening today. Seems like she has experience. She's really handy and helpful. Tita ran. It's like having a hundred helpers. 
I love messing around with machines, but it's nice to step back and enjoy nature sometimes, too. We have a greenhouse back at the ZCF for research. I was allowed to grow some plants there. It takes me back. Dr. Green, did you know uh, Cervic tomatoes were created at a ZCF? All the credit goes to this guy named Ray. <laughs> it takes me back. I'm gonna be honest, I don't remember Ray. I mean, I assume we met him and talked to him in Sky, but... A, I didn't talk to many NPCs when I played the Sky games, uh, and it's been a long time. That's one that would be kind of nice to replay, in, in particular Sky 1 and 2, like replay them and actually talk to all the NPCs at every uh, potential avenue. It's something that I might do uh, when we fin like when we, once we catch up. After we finish this game and Cold Steel 4 and the, the, the other one that's not out yet in English, but... Or like the next one. Haji, Haji something, whatever. But that's still going to be a little bit. Granted, the Cold Steel, this game is still going to take a while and... We'll still probably finish it at DC, because I, I don't know if we'll do Cold Steel 4 right after. Um, that's kind of the plan. It may not be like, you know, the finale of this goes up and then Cold Steel 4 is like the day after, but I don't want to have like a huge break. I don't think. I and mean, we'll also kind of depend on how I'm feeling at the end of this game, since it's going to be very long, considering we're at the start of Chapter 2 and we're 35 videos in. Wow, I got a lot more than I expected. Those mirror coins I see in your eyes beam that I think they mean? They sure do, Instructor. I got it in just this morning, my first paycheck. It's just so much in one place. I'm going to be the first to congratulate you. This is just their way of commending all your efforts. Keep up the good work. Yep, I've been working here for two months and I got a thousand Mira. Wow, so good. Oh, Instructor, you're embarrassing me. But thanks, I'll keep you doing what I do best. Anything else? Thanks. The pay for helping out at the cafeteria is pretty good. I was pretty surprised. I'm gonna save this money for a rainy day. Ugh. Why is this happening? Camp is life supposed to be fun. Sydney. Uh, hey, Instructor Rain. I'm just jealous of you. You're so strong and popular and cool. And why are you complimenting me like that? It's almost like you're the designated protagonist of some sort of JRPG. Is something bothering you? It's not really any one thing. I'm just a... Something's bothering him. Should I take the time to listen to him? Sydney, you can tell me all about it if you'd like. What's really bothering you? You don't really need to, but... Since you offered... Good, you can tell me everything. Well, let's see. As you may already know, my scores are among the lowest to everyone here. I wouldn't like that back in Grenville. Grenville, that's a small town just outside of Leaves, right? The school has students from all over, but... I don't think anybody can attend this school. You can take pride in at least being accepted here. Yeah, that's how I felt at first. Even though we're a new branch campus, we're still a part of a military academy as a long and proud tradition. At the very least, my shooting scores are really good. But they pale in comparison to Maya's. It's just really hard to accept. Well, here's the thing. Not everybody can be the best at everything. You know? There always has to be someone who's worse than someone else. And there's nothing necessarily wrong with being not the best at something. Just take pride and accomplishment in doing whatever it is to the best of your own personal ability. Hey Sydney, I'm sure there's something that you're better at than anyone else. Or you could go that avenue. If you work on that, I can't even think of what that could be. I'm just a small fish in this exceptional pond. I got no motivation. Anyway, I just don't have any skills. You can just leave me alone. Uh, what should I say? Since he's not my student, I don't really know what Sydney's strengths are. Maybe I should consult Randy. Okay, Sydney Sadness. I'm just one speck in this huge world. I got nothing that stands out. What now supposed to be? I mean, Reen's approach is maybe the more positive one, as opposed to my, like, yeah, you know what, maybe you suck, just deal with it. I feel like my, my idea is the more realistic one. 
Any Randys in here? Aurelia? Green, get in the rocker. Hide. Hide. I mean, if you want a little, little sparring match, maybe a little, little, just a little nugget of a sparring match? Not right now, though. I don't want to get, like, if, the, if there is a fight there, potentially, which would be kind of fun, uh... I don't want to do it just yet. Student store? Still not, still not open. Okay. Oh, there you guys are. Hey, Reen, what's up? Hello, Reen. What are you doing here? We're cheating at hide and seek. Uh, we're playing hide and seek with Cheryl. We're in the middle of a serious battle between boys and girls, and we can't afford to be caught. I guess we shouldn't have stuck in here, though. Uh, but military schools are super cool, and there's so many things I've never seen before. Hey, you're, uh... Divine? Oh, Divine Knight is here, too, right? I want. I was like, I could not parse that. Oh, Divine Knight. I guess he's curious about Valimar. Well, maybe some other time. Awesome! But more importantly, well, I guess I can't let it slide this time, but this isn't a place to play, alright? There's a lot of military things kept here. You need to promise you not to enter any of the buildings. Okay. I know. Don't worry. We'll get out of here as soon as you defeat Cheryl. Zack gets so stubborn whenever he's against Cheryl. Thanks to that, I'm going to be able to see a divine knight. Maybe Zack's stubbornness is useful sometimes after all. It'd be cool to see the big armor the Ash and shave all, all the Ash and guy rides around in. It's a promise. You better show me someday. Finally, someone else I can bond with over not knowing how to pronounce a goddamn thing. What's up? I've heard you've been knocking out requests left and right, Reen. It's like you're a bright eyed first year all over again. Yeah, the more things change, the more they stay the same, I suppose. Though so back then, you were the one pushing me into the into a handy list. Push, putting them all into a handy list for me. Funny you should mention that, because that's exactly what I was about to do. I'm grateful for the thought, really, but you already have way too much in your plate. Well, I will say, I'm glad to have Celeste in around to help out with all this. You can say that again. You're always so dedicated to whatever you put your mind to. It feels like we're students again. The essence of swim training. This is going to be really helpful. I'd like to put it to the test, but... Ah, uh, I went too hard with weight training yesterday, and now I'm really sore. How are you going to read a book about swimming? I mean, I assume there's something you can learn, but I don't know. Doesn't seem that practical. Man, Valerie's skills are amazing. Pablo plays bass and sings. Honestly, it's so much better than I expected. I can't fall behind. I know this is neural northern style rock. We barely had any prep time. We're having a pro if this really does help. I'm not letting you take all the glory though, Valerie. These two aren't bad. At this rate, there's no real need to sit down and teach them anything. Suppose this isn't a bad way to pass the time after all. I time of my super special technique? Ah, damn it. Messed up again. Time to clear my head for once and really lose myself in this music. Not a bad way to kill time, I suppose. Oh, wait. Oh, this was, was this Wayne? No, this wasn't Wayne. This is my Stark. That's it. Stark, what are you doing here? Swimming club is an off day. I thought I might as well make use of the academy's facilities while I'm here. So that's why you're in a computer, huh? Looks like you've gotten pretty good at them. Uh, well, you have our expert curriculum to thank for that. I wouldn't be as happy to go without it. I see, I'm glad to hear that. Well, it's your day off, so I'll leave it to you. Type away. That's the plan. And it'll be very widespread in the Empire, but the Orbital Net is still pretty fun to connect to. Just imagine, one day we might be able to do all of our day-to-day -day shopping online. How convenient would that be? Or send strangers pictures of our buttholes over the internet. <laughs> Unprompted, too. That's what makes it really fun. We, we haven't gone to the clubhouse. Or wait, we weren't. We did go to the clubhouse, right? 
We were just on the bottom level? Isn't that where Aurelia was? Oh, I'm trying to read. Have you seen Sydney by any chance? Yeah, I think I saw him in the cafeteria. Why, are you meeting for chess club today? Well, we were supposed to. It's not as if I particularly mind. I can just as easily practice it myself. Maybe so, but that's still no reason to ditch club. And again, with how Sydney is now, getting into a Tim might be tough. I'm sure he hasn't forgotten about today. Something I expect him to have come up. And you guys will just study up on some matches while I wait for him. It isn't my place to go looking for Sydney. I'll just study up on some matches. Oh, hello, Inspector Reen. Welcome. I was just checking out Muse Ceremonial Teacup. Do you happen to know the name of the style of teacup? Uh, it's a cup. Let's see. I remember Master Master had an interest in teacups too. Is this a Black Rocku Rockaware cup? That's right. You really are knowledgeable in Charter Green. I guess that's why you're the one teaching history class. Well, you see, in the War of the Lions, well, th stuff like this is a bit outside the realm of Erebonian history. Turns out you're rather well informed, aren't you, Instructor? I can feel myself falling more and more with every passing second. You never let up, do you? Kyrie doesn't do too well sitting a Seiza, Seiza style? I read to say that word out loud. I've seen it before, but honestly, I don't mind if he just wants to sit cross legged instead. I bet it's hard to focus on this ceremony with no feeling in your legs. I'm shaking. I don't feel my legs. I won't lose though. I'm a proud Erebonian man. Is he going to be okay? I mean, it's honestly not a very comfortable way to sit in the slightest. But, uh... Now we... Where was Aurelia? Was she just on the first floor normally, I guess? Where was this lady at? Ah, oh, she was over here. Alright, we'll talk to Aurelia in the next video. See what uh, she's up to, if she wants to fight us or something. I'm extra she's 87. Stay tuned for the next part. And bye, guys.